Hello my dear friends, I welcome you all to our channel that is Best Notes Tutorials. Today I have come with the work of uh, Thomas Hardy that is Jude the Obscure. I will ask you all so many MCQs from this topic and uh, before I tell you the answer try to guess it from your own end. Okay. So let's begin with the question answers and at the same time I'll tell you to revise all those previous MCQs so that you are ready for the examination beforehand. Okay, so let's begin with the question answers. Question number one, Jude Foley, the novel's protagonist, longs to become a dash circumstances force him instead to become a dash. So what will be the word for these two blanks? Option A, doctor and butcher. Option painter and grave digger. Option C, lawyer and merchant. And option D, scholar and stone mason. So here it's D which is correct answer that is scholar and stone mason. Let's see the highlighters. After Jude's teacher leaves for Christminster on the path towards scholastic study, Jude decided he wants to attend the university himself and acquire a doctorate of divinity. Societal circumstances including his poverty and his early marriage to Arabella prevent Jude's study at the university. Instead, Jude earns a living as an itinerant stone cutter. Question number two. How does Arabella trap Jude into marrying her the first time? Option A. She steals his money. Option B. She gets him drunk. Option C. She threatens his life. Option D. She feigns pregnancy. So here option D is correct. That is she feigns about her pregnancy. Hardy treatment of the unhappy marriage of Jude and Arabella exemplifies an important theme in the novel, Marriage as a Trap. Hardy critic the permanency of a contract negotiated due to a fleeting lust between two individuals. Soon after their marriage, Jude realizes that although the transitory instinct of sexual attracted had passed, the marriage remained. Question number three, on their wedding night, what physical attribute of Arabella does you discover to be false? Option A, pregnancy. Option B, her teeth. Option C, her hair. And option D, her dimples. So it is option C, that is her hair. Jude learns that Arabella wears a hairpiece when she removes it in preparation for bed. He does not discover Arabella's ability to produce false dimples on her feigns pregnancy until later. Question number four. Where does Jude first see Sue? Option A in the Stone Mansion's yard. Option B in a shop at Christminster. Option C in a portrait owned by his aunt Drusilla. Option C. Option D. In church during a sermon. So here option C is correct. In a portrait owned by his aunt Drusilla, Jude first saw Sue. When Jude moves to Chris Minster, he says his aunt to send the portrait to him. He later spies Sue at her place of employment and at church and she comes to see him at the stone mansion's, mansion's yard. However, they do not actually converse until their arranged meeting on a street in Christminster. Question number five. What statues does Shu buy from the street vendor? Option A, Mars and Cupid. Option B, Christ and the Virgin Mary. Option C, St. Peter and St. Mary Magdalene. Option D, Venus and Apollo. So here option D is correct, that is 
Venus and Apollo. Shu bought the statues of Venus and Apollo from the street vendor. Sue's purchase of these figures significantly shows her appreciation of antiquity and her veneration of classical values rather than Christian teachings. To conceal the identities of statues from her landlady, Sue lies that they are representations of Peter and Mary Magdalene. The opposition of philosophy and religion with Christian morality is a major theme of the novel. Question number six. How are Jude and Sue related? Option A. They are cousins. Option B. He is her uncle. Option C. They are siblings. Option D. She is his aunt. Option A is correct. That is Jude and Sue are cousins. Jude and Sue both mention society's disapproval of cousins getting married. Question number seven. Who introduces Sue to Philotson? Philotson. Option A. Philotson. Option B. Arabella. Option C. Jude. And option D. Drusilla. So here, Sue is introduced to Philotson by Jude. Philotson was Jude's teacher in Mary Green. When Jude discovers Sue's desire to teach, he introduces her to Philotson in Christ Minister. Question number eight. Where does Jude encounter Arabella for the first time since she has left him? Option A. At a bar in Christ Minster. Option B. At Sue's wedding. Option C. At Drusilla's funeral. And option D. At an inn in Melchester. Here option A is correct. That is at a bar in Christ Minster. Jude finds Arabella working as a barmaid in Christminster when he accompanies an old friend to the bar for a drink. Depressed by the advent of Shu's recent marriage, Jude is tempted to drink at the bar and is later subdued, sorry, seduced by Arabella. What event causes Philotson to consent to Shu's desire to leave him for Jude? Option A. Sue threatens to kill Philotson if he will not allow her to leave. Option B. Shu asks Philotson if he will allow her to go to Jude. Option C. She jumps out of a window to escape Philotson. Option D. Philotson discovers she is pregnant by Jude. Here, option C is correct. That is, Sue jumps out of a window to escape Philotson. When Sue first asks Philotsons if he will allow her to leave him, her husband refuses. It is only after Sue jumps out of bedroom window when Philotson accidentally enters the room that he lets her go to be with her lover. Question number 10. What does, sorry, why does Arabella grant Jude a divorce? Option A. She feels sorry for Jude and Sue. Option B. She wants to cut all ties in England and move to Australia. Option C. She discovers that Jude had been unfaithful. Option D. She wants to marry another man. So here option D is correct. That is Arabella wanted to marry somebody else. Therefore she left Jude by divorcing him. Let's see the highlighters. While she is in Australia, Arabella meets another man. Believing Jude is dead, she and the Australian marry. She realizes a divorce will make her second marriage legal. According to the legend told by the widow Edlin, what happened to Jude's and Shu's common ancestor? Option A. He never married and died alone. Option B. She divorced, he divorced three times. Option C. She, he was hanged. Option D. He killed his wife. So here option C is correct, that is he was hanged. Let's see the highlighters. The widow Edlin recounts the history of Jude's and Shu's ancestor 
whose wife ran away from him, taking their child with her. The child died and the second husband attempted to steal the child's coffin from his wife's house. He was caught and hanged for burglary. Mrs. Edlin tells this story to illustrate why Shoes and Jude's family has always had bad luck with marriage. Question number 12. Why does Shu wants to marry Jude when Jude even after they are already living together? Option A. She is worried about societal opinion of her marrying a relative. Option B. She feels it will destroy their happiness. Option C. She is really in love with Philotson. Option D. She thinks that Jude is in love with Arabella. So here option B is correct. That is she feels it will destroy their happiness. Highlighter says Sue believes based partly on previous experience that once two people are married their passion for each other dissolves. It is foreign to a man's nature to go on loving a person when he is told that he must and shall be that person's lover. She thinks that marriages, marriage is destructive to a passion whose essence is its gratuitousness. Question number 13. Why is Drusilla opposed to Jude marrying? Option A. Because she feels no woman is good enough for Jude. Option B. Because she wants to stay in Mary Green and uh, work for her. Option C. Because their family has bad luck with marriage. Option D. Because she wants Jude to be a scholar. So here option C is correct. That is because their family has bad luck with marriage. Drusilla opposed to Jude. Drusilla opposed Jude for marrying. Drusilla spends her entire life unmarried and advises against any member of her family marrying because none have none who have married have found happiness. Question number 14. Little Father Time is the son of which couple? Option A. No one knows who his father who his parents are. Option B. Jude and Sue. Option C. Jude and Arabella. Option D. Philotson and Sue. So here option C is correct. That is Jude and Arabella were the father of little father time. Little father time is a product of their marriage. Although Arabella does not tell Jude about their son for many years. The child spends the first year of his life in Australia with Arabella's family. Question number 15. What event precipitates the marriage of Jude and Sue. Option A. The arrival of little father time. Option B. The divorce of Jude and Arabella. Option C. The divorce of Sue and Philotson. Option D. They never marry. Here option D is correct. That is, they never marry. Jude and Sue never marry. Although Jude and Sue comes close to Legally marrying several times in the novel, she always changes her mind shortly before they go through the ceremony. Finally, the couple begins to tell people that they are legally married even though they are not. Question number 16. Choose the correct order of marriages and divorces as they occur in the novel. Option A. Jude and Arabella marry. Jude and Arabella divorce. Jude and Sue marry. Jude and Sue divorce. Jude and Arabella marry, Sue and Philotson marry. Here, this is option A. Option B, Sue and Philotson marry, Sue and Philotson divorce, Sue and Philotson marry, Jude and Arabella marry, Sue and Philotson divorce, Jude and Arabella divorce. If it is correct answer, mark it, but this is not. Let me go ahead. Jude and Arabella marry, Sue and Philotson marry, Sue and Philotson divorce, Jude and Arabella divorce, Philotson and Arabella marry, Jude and Sue marry. This is also not correct option. Let's move to the D one, which is the correct one. Jude and Arabella marry, 
Sue and Philotston remarry. Jude and Arabella divorce. Sue and Philotston divorce. Sue and Philotston marry. Jude and Arabella marry. Jude and Arabella marry before Jude ever meets Sue. Jude is still legally married to Arabella when Sue and Philotston marry. Jude's divorce from Arabella become finally final shortly before Sue's and Philotston's divorce is made official. Next point is years later Sue returns to Philotston and becomes his wife again and urges Jude to remarry Arabella. Jude and Sue never marry, nor do Philistin and Arabella. Question number 17. On what special day do Jude, Sue and their family return to Christminster? Option A. Christmas Day. Option B. The George Feast Day. Option C. Easter Sunday. And Option D. Remembrance Day. So here it is Option D which is correct. That is Remembrance Day. On this day, Jude Sue and their family return to Christminster. Remembrance Day held at the university honors graduating scholars. Hardy models the university at Christminster on Oxford University. The following year, Jude dies on Remembrance Day after remembering his own failed ambitions. Question number 18. What happens to Jude's three oldest children? Option A, they are sent to an orphanage. Option B, they commit suicide. Option C, they die of the plague. Option D, they run away. Option B is correct, that is, they commit suicide. Jude's three oldest children commit suicide. After Sue reveals to little father time, that so many children make it difficult for the family to survive, he and the other two children hang themselves. Question number 19. How does Shu react to the fate of her children? Option A. She decides to leave the country. Option B. She prays for God to send her more children. Option C. She renounces her ties to Jude. Option D. She rejoins, she joins a convent. So here option C is correct, that is, she renounces her ties to Jude. The death of the three oldest children, shortly followed by Shu's delivery of a stillborn, convinced Shu that her life with Jude is immoral and cursed. She decides that she is still bound to Philotston and resolves to return to him. Question number 20. According to Jude, what are his two greatest weaknesses? Option A. Women and alcohol. Option B. Nevity and stupidity. Option C. Ambition and pride. And option D. Impatience and laziness. So here option A is correct. That is women and alcohol. Jude tells Shu that she is the only one who can keep him from his two arc enemies that is women and alcohol question number 21 on the eve of her second marriage to Philotston, what does the widow Edlin advise Sue option A to pray for God's forgiveness option B to go back to Jude option C to show up for the wedding option D not to marry Philotston. Here, option D is correct, that is not to marry. Philotston is the suggestion which is given by widow Edlin to Shu. Mrs. Edlin tells Shu that she is making a mistake by marrying Philotston and that she should not marry him because she is still in love with Jude. However, she does not specifically tell Shu to go back to Jude. Question number 20. How does Arabella get Jude to marry her the second time? Option A. She feigns pregnancy. She gets him drunk. Option C. She threatens Shu's life. Option D. She steals his money. So here option B is correct. That is she gets him drunk. 
Let's see the highlighters. Arabella manages to keep Judwin to Judwin so intoxicated that he is not thinking clearly. She then tells him that he promised to marry her and believing her, he feels obligated to fulfill his word. Let's move to question number 23. What is Shu's faith? She consummates her marriage with Philotson. Option B. She is rejected by Philotson and Jude. Option B. She commits suicide. And option D. She goes insane. Here option A is correct. That is she consummates her marriage with Philotson. Although Shu's and Philotson's marriage is only nominal at first, Shu ultimately decides that the moral thing to do is to submit fully to her husband even though he repulses her. Question number 24. When Arabella discovers that Jude is dead, which of these does she do first? Option A. She covers Jude's body with a sheet. Option B. She summons the coroner. Option C. She goes to see the boat races. Option D. She writes a letter to Shu. Here, option C is correct. That is, she goes to see the boat races. Let's see the highlighters. Arabella's selfish desire to see the boat races with her friends surpasses her duties towards her husband's dead body. Friends, by this we have completed MCQs on Thomas Hardy's part 2 as well. We will continue making such videos. Till then we meet. Please study well and revise all the lessons. I wish you all the best from my bottom of my heart and uh, wishes from our channel as well for your success. Thank you everyone. We will meet soon.